Hello everyone. My name is Paul Agustin, working as Assistant Professor in Department of Computer Science and Engineering at Rajagiri School of Engineering and Technology. Welcome to Module 4 of EST 102 Programming in C. In today's section, we are going to discuss the topic Recursion. Recursion definition. Recursion is a process in which a function calls itself repeatedly until a certain termination condition is satisfied. And the function that calls itself is known as recursive function. So to know the recursion in a detailed manner, we will be dealing with examples containing recursive functions. In the first example, we are going to discuss recursion without using condition. So here, at first we have the function declaration part. Inside the main function, we have called the display function. Then, when we call the display function inside the main function, it will go to the function definition part. Inside the function definition part, we have the print statement to print welcome. The next step is calling the display function. So inside the display function, we have called the display function. So here we haven't given any condition for the display function and it will be indefinitely calling the display function. See the output now we have uh, printed the welcome and the since the condition is not given the welcome will be printed indefinitely that means it will be printed again and again because we haven't uh, given any condition in the second example that is recursion using condition so here we have used the same function display function the first part is the function declaration part and we have a parameter here integer n and inside the main function we have declared a variable l to enter the limit or how many times the function should be repeated so we have a limit here using the variable l and after that we have called the display function display l when we call the display function it will go to the function definition part and in the function definition part we have given the value for the parameter n that the value will be passed to the function definition part and it will be first checking whether the value of n is 0 if the n is 0 it will return and otherwise with the value of n suppose take the case the value of n is 3 so it will go to the else part and it will print the welcome statement and after that it is again calling the display function that is display n minus 1 that is suppose we have given the value of uh, n as 3 that is 3 minus 1 that is uh, two more times it will be executed so when the limit 3 is given the welcome will be printed three times so in the next program we are going to find factorial of a number using recursion so suppose if we want to find the factorial of number 3 the sequence of operations involved in finding the factorial of number 3 are factorial 3 equal to 3 into factorial of 2 that is again 
it can be written as 3 into 2 into factorial of 1 you know factorial of 1 is 1 itself so 3 into 2 into 1 that is equal to 6 suppose we want to find factorial of n we can find using the logic n into factorial of n minus 1 so if n greater than 1 then this uh, logic is applicable so we can proceed with the program for finding the factorial of a number and here we have the function factorial and we have the parameter n so we have the function declaration part inside the main function we have declared num and f two variables of integer type and we are entering the number so which number we want to find the factorial then we are reading the number using scanf statement so f equal to factorial of num so after calling the function factorial the result will be stored inside the variable f and we will be printing the result inside the f so at the final step that is uh, print the factorial of which number suppose the number is 5 5 and factorial of 5 is f when we call the factorial function it will go to the function definition part and the parameter n is used so if the number is 1 you know factorial of 1 is 1 so return 1 1 will be returned otherwise it will go to the else part and it will compute the step return n into factorial of n minus 1 suppose the number is 7 it will go to the else part and 7 into factorial of 7 minus 1 so 7 into factorial of 6 then likewise it will proceed with 7 into 6 into factorial of 5 likewise after computation we will get the final result as 5040 now we can proceed with the next program to find the sum of digits of a number using recursive function so we can have an example number as 321 sum of digits as a function name so we are dividing the number 321 by 10 we'll get the remainder as 1 and rest we have 32 then when we are dividing the number 32 by 10 we will get the remainder as 2 and rest we will get as 3 so the finally the sum of digits of 321 is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 that is 6 so if the condition n greater than 0 that is number greater than 0 sum of digits can be computed as n modulus 10 to find the remainder plus sum of digits n by 10 gives the quotient now the program for finding the sum of digits of the number at first we have the function declaration part that is sum of digits with the parameter n and inside the main function we have two variables of integer type num and sum and we have read the number num and to the variable sum we will get the final result after calling the sum of digits that is a function with the parameter num and it will go to the function definition part and finally it will print the result as num num means the number and sum of digits of the corresponding number we will 
get inside the variable sum and it will print num and sum when we call the function sum of digits it will go to the function definition part and if the number is zero it will return zero otherwise it will go to the else part and it will return n mod 10 plus sum of digits n by 10 and the final result it will be stored inside the variable sum and in the output suppose the number given is 124 it will compute 124 divided by 10 and the remainder is 4 that is 4 plus sum of digits so n by 10 that is 12 again 12 will be divided by 10 and the remainder will be 2 and the quotient will be 1 so 4 plus 2 plus 1 we will get the result as 7 now we need to know some concepts what is the difference between direct recursion and indirect recursion in the case of direct recursion a function calls itself repeatedly until a certain condition is satisfied so the number of times a function calls itself recursively is known as the depth of recursion and in the case of indirect recursion suppose an example a function a calls function b which in turn calls function a so thus form a chain of function calls that is known as indirect recursion and the use of recursive function results in simpler tradable and shorter source programs this is an advantage of the recursive function but when we compare the recursive function with iterative or non recursive function a recursive function implementation always degrades the performance and sometimes recursive function implementation is not efficient in terms of memory utilization and execution speed in today's session recursion we have discussed the definition of recursion recursive functions the program using recursion without using condition program using recursion using condition program to find factorial of a number program to find sum of digits of a number and some concepts related to recursion hope you have got a good idea about recursion thank you